Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. My name is Mohammed, and I'm a fresh PhD graduate from City University of Hong Kong. Before beginning my talk, I wish to thank Meta 2021 Organizing Committee for making this conference possible in this tough time. My today's talk would be brief and centered around monolithic mechanical meta structure governing ultra-wide three-dimensional band cave for R-direction elastic wave control. In this talk, I would be talking about meta structure design morphology, band cap generation mechanism, and analytical and numerical modeling and experiment on manufactured prototype to corroborate our findings. The main content of the talk is as follows. Some part of the results discussed here is published in archives of civil and mechanical engineering. Interested participants later can have a read. Briefly speaking, since past two decades, phononic crystals and acoustic metamaterial have seen tremendous research interest for acoustic and elastic wave control. This synthetic structure possess fantastic wave dispersion and peculiar dynamic characteristics. Some of the examples are shown here in this slide that are inconceivable from the naturally occurring materials and they are majorly inspired by unusual wave effect that are reported in photonic crystals and electromagnetic metamaterial for controlling the flow of photons and electromagnetic waves. Now, such correlation between phononic crystal and acoustic metamaterial with their counterpart photonic crystal and electromagnetic metamaterial are discussed in details in our recent review article that is published in Archives of Computational Methods in Engineering. Further discovery in acoustic metamaterial lead to peculiar mechanical effect that include negative effective medium properties like uh, negative effective mass density that is uh, first reported by Professor Gualung Hong, inertial amplification band gap for broadband vibration and noise control, uh, emergent meta damping in acoustic metamaterial and active control technique to tune and widen the band gap uh, for broadband vibration and noise control that are recently performed by our research group. Now coming to the major uh, study performed uh, uh, recently in our group. So the proposed monolithic metal structure is comprised of elastic beams and that are connected orthogonally with rigid spherical masses. The elastic beams are working as a flexible structural element while the spherical masses can be conceived as rigid masses. Here, the, uh, as you can see uh, through these mode shapes, the axial compression mode of a complete unit cell structure and the flexural stiffness of the beams are manipulated to generate low frequency, extremely wide band gap. These locally resonant mode separation that are caused by the structural morphology can be manipulated to generate ultra wide band gap. Since unit cell structure is symmetric along all three axes, therefore three-dimensional complete band gap can be envisaged from the such structural morphology or such metastructure design. Since our unit cell structure majorly contains two parts, that is uh, flexible and rigid structural elements, therefore they can be represented by a monatomic mass spring chain. The analytical formulations and dispersion plot for such lattice indicates that the acoustic mode responsible for initiating the band gap begins at frequency twice the natural frequency of the monoatomic chain, as shown here. The co model comparison between analytical model and numerical stimulation by console multiphysics indicate an error of around 9%. Uh, this large error is caused by negligion of stiffness effect that is ignored in the analytical model and rigid spherical masses is assumed to have no stiffness effect. Actually, that is not true. So a rigorous mathematical modeling based on the variational principle considering both mass and stiffness effect by the proposed structure may yield a good agreement uh, between numerical and theoretical model. Now such detailed uh, theoretical investigation is part of our future study. This is the band structure with band gaps of unit cell structure considered in three dimensional space. Uh, or the complete Brulewin zone uh, and the, the coordinates of the Brulewin zone is shown at the inside of the band structure. From the vibration modes shown, the global and local resonant mode responsible for opening the band gaps are depicted. In the proposed metastructure, the global mode is characterized by P 
pure compression resonant motion of both spherical masses and supporting elastic beams. Since the vibrational energy is localized in the complete unit cell structure, the eigenstate associated with this particular vibration mode is located at, at, at an extremely low frequency. This is reasonable uh, because the modal participation uh, from the complete unit cell structure enhances the effective mass of the resonant system, which in turn shifts the resonant mode to a lower frequency region. In contrast, the pass bands associated with the closing bounding edge of the band gap show that the vibrational energy is localized solely in the elastic beams. Due to the local mode participation caused by the flexural motion of the orthogonal beams, this particular resonant mode lies at significantly higher frequency compared to the band gap opening bounding edge. Now, this noticeable difference in terms of the vibrational energy localization and model masses participation between the global and local resonant mode resulted in the generation of an ultra-wide three-dimensional complete band gap. Now, this is the frequency response study, which is performed by two finite element analysis called COMSOL Multiphysics and ANSYS Workbench. Since the prototype manufactured consists of a polymeric material with some inherent damping. Uh, therefore, we perform dynamic mechanical analysis tests to calculate the material loss factor eta. The incorporation of the material damping uh, smoothened the wave transmission peaks, as you can see from the wave transmission curve. And this damping effect is quite strong at higher frequency region. Overall, in terms of vibration attenuation, our broadband frequency region considered uh, shows good agreement between the numerical and experimental results. Of course, uh, some discrepancy in terms of material and isotropy, additive manufacturing process and experiment equipment limitation is present that may yield to some differences between numerical and experimental results. Now, such uh, possible reasons are discussed in detail in the published version of the work. So if there would be any question, I would take uh, question uh, later on on this, uh, and I can explain there, uh, but interested readers can refer to the published version of the work for detailed uh, explanation. Now, this is a general workflow of the study where you can see that uh, we build a unit cell structure and uh, the supercell uh, lattice is also shown, and the experiment equipment uh, used and the setup is also depicted inside this figure. And uh, we also show the results comparison here. Now the conclusion of the studies is as follow. So we propose a novel engineered metastructure design which governs complete a three dimensional band gap with a relative bandwidth of 171.5%. Now the opening of the band gap is analyzed by uh, studying the local and global resonant modes and by principle of mode separation the opening and closing bounding edge of the band gaps are explained the wave attenuation inside the obtained band gap is envisaged by performing frequency response study on finite length model the super cell model is also manufactured by additive manufacturing technology uh, and by performing the vibration test on the manufactured prototype the vibration attenuation over ultra wide frequency region is envisaged. Now, the future study intends to focus on three major aspects of the 3D metastructure. Uh, first, uh, we are interested in the data-driven design optimization by machine learning and deep learning methods to optimize the design and performance of the metastructure. Second, uh, we are also interested to switch the monolithic design with composite design uh, that enable to increase the thickness of supporting orthogonal beams. And also it helps us to increase the mass of rigid component and such uh, variation may shift the uh, opening bounding edge of the band gap uh, to very low frequency region for low frequency vibration and noise control. Third, we are also interested to investigate the topologically protected corner, hinge, surface, and bulk modes by metastructure that may reveal new wave effect and potential application in the field. And in the next version of our study, we have uh, considered a composite mechanical metastructure approach to shift the global resonant mode frequency to extremely low frequency region and further widen the ultra wide band gap, as I discussed 
uh, in the previous slide. So a general workflow is shown here. This work is currently under review for possible publication. Finally, I wish to acknowledge the following bodies for their financial support throughout my PhD studies at City University of Hong Kong. And the conference grant by uh, City University of Hong Kong Graduate School is also acknowledged that made it possible to present my work in Meta 2021. Thank you for your time and uh, patience for listening to this talk. If there is any question, uh, the floor is open for it. Thank you.